Okay. We're here in the studio today with Jeremy Spencer, uh, one of the original members of Fleetwood Mac, uh, member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Mm. Jeremy, it's a pleasure to have you here today. It's very nice to be here. So, give us a little bit of your background here, and we'll uh, then we'll move on and talk about the Jeremy Spencer of today. Mm, my background, musical background, I yes. suppose. Yeah, um, I've been a slide guitar uh, fanatic maniac for years, ever since I heard Elmore James. So, uh, <laughs> when I first heard this lick. Uh, the sun is shining, although it's raining in my heart. Mm. So that just knocked my socks off at 16 years old. <laughs> when I was, you know, the going fair was uh, the Rolling Stones and Beach Boys and whatnot. And so that, ah, oh, wow, where's that coming from? So. Well, it had the same effect on me. I got goosebumps right here. <laughs> and yeah, I had I got goosebumps those. the same time, I, the very first time I heard the same thing. So, tell us a little bit about what you've been up to the last few years. Last few years. Uh, musically, I've been uh, very active. Uh, I just uh, I released an album which I am very, very pleased with. I think it's the best thing I ever done. I did it with a Notodden, uh, a group of Notodden blues musicians who've been playing together for about 25 years. Very accomplished in blues, uh, much like y you and you and your band and the society, which blues is their 110% and they play like it. And it was just like what I often said, it was like walking into a tailor-made suit of guys that had cut their teeth on, younger guys, uh, cut their teeth on, um, all the Chicago blues guys from the 50s and so on. Uh, and so it was a real, really a fun album to make. Enjoyed it, it. And I must say that it's one of your best works to date. It's really, really nice music. I find it a pleasure to listen to, and it's on my repeat playlist quite it a bit. Is, it is, yeah. Well, it's on mine too, which is, which is more than I can say for anything I've done before that. <laughs> um, but, uh, and it's called Precious Little. And I would recommend that <laughs> everyone pick up a copy. Pig Absolutely. Okay. The, uh, yeah, it's blind, it is on the Blind Pig label and it's readily available and I would recommend folks pick up a copy because it, uh, it's an amazing, amazing piece of work. Mm. Um, so really you've been playing just for about the last five or six years more mm -hmm. than you had in previous years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you finding it to be as satisfying or more satisfying? More satisfying. Otherwise, I, like before, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. If it, yes, if it doesn't put a song <laughs> in your heart, it's very hard to put yeah, all of Yeah, it's not worth it, and I'll just, yeah, you know, but yeah. I'm old enough and wise enough not to yeah. <laughs> want to subject myself to something that's going to cause stress. So. Yes. Well, you and I were fortunate enough to meet up through uh, your friend and now manager, Mark. Mark Rigato, yes. Yes. Uh, uh, very nice guy, um, bound and determined to make sure that uh, Jeremy Spencer becomes a household name again, yeah, and I yeah. tip my hat to him yes, for that. Yes, I do too. He, he's, <laughs> he knows my stuff better than I do. And <laughs> <laughs> And it's, uh, it's wonderful, and we, as you alluded before, you and I have had a chance to play together before, and it's uh, from listening to the music from the old days, the 60s and the early 70s, it was a real pleasure for me because that's really how I cut my teeth and got interested in blues, was the original U.S. blues artists and the bands from England that dedicated themselves to the preservation and advancement of that kind well, of music. It was, yes, it was very odd to come over here and play for the, uh, the white kids and you say, hey, hey you know, um, and they go, where's this music coming from? And it's right in your own backyard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, 
It's mm -hmm. amazing. It's always been that way, and it still really exists that way today, that blues music is not as big a phenomena or as big a, a genre of music in the United States where it was invented mm -hmm. as it is mm -hmm. all over Europe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You go, yes, they have, uh, in a little country like Norway, they have 25 blues festivals a year, and it's not just to the old, the, the old guard like us, it's the youth that, that are into it, and which is a, a plus for playing there. That is, that, that is good to hear, and uh, we've tried here in the Detroit area for a long time, the Blues Society has, to start to foster and nurture the youth players of today, mm -hmm. and within the last few years, mm -hmm. that started to take hold. We're yeah, seeing a lot of high-end youth players. Mm -hmm. And there, yes, and the interesting thing there is in, in Norway and Sweden, the youth, uh, they're very interested in the classic blues, the stuff that I like to listen to, and they want to hear that, and they want to play that. They want to play less is more, that style, you know, not the blazing saddles and the whiz stuff, but they, they really tune into the subtleties, and that, again, to me, is, uh, makes it very satisfying to play there. And you'll talk to people like, I've got to meet uh, Junior Watson there. He said, I just love to come here because they so appreciate the way I play this type of thing. Yeah, yeah it's so many places around here, with notable exceptions, but so many places around you go to hear blues, and unfortunately, the music becomes a background for selling high-priced barbecue mm -hmm. food, mm -hmm. and there are very few blues purists in mm -hmm. the room who are there to listen to the music. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The notable exception to that, of course, would be Callahan's in Auburn mm -hmm. Hills, where mm -hmm. you played in mm -hmm. March of Good last crowd. year. Yeah. And those people were there for the music, and mm -hmm. you could tell. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. And uh, it, it's just, uh, it's wonderful. I've dedicated my life to blues many years ago. Uh, the person who got me the most interested and worked with me, actually, on a mentorship basis, was Luther Allison. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, he was another one who found no notoriety and no chance to make a living in the United States and moved to Europe and became basically a superstar after mm -hmm. his move to Europe. And his son is quite, uh, does quite the circuit there too. Yes, yeah. he does. Bernard, uh, yeah. Bernard comes through Detroit at least two or three times a year and uh, spit an image of his dad. <laughs> But you talked about the traditional blues. I'm, I'm with you on that. Um, I even go back so far as to, I really enjoy the Sun House music. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The stuff that came from the pit of people's soul. Oh, yeah. And it just, it's moving. Mm -hmm, it, very. It really is moving. So uh, why don't you show us a little bit technique-wise on a slide guitar, and if you'd like to talk while you're doing it and show us the different styles, maybe talk about the tuning, what makes it different. Okay, I'll have to nutshell this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, well, basically, you, take a, you can take any guitar, uh, and uh, raise, raise the action, use, uh, I use 10 to 48, 10 or 11, this is for the guitar it's out there. I don't have to get into a big d description. Um, 10 to 48 set. And it raise it pretty little high so that it's springy. I like that springiness. You, you, you go, there's a little bit of a... You just, and so, but that gives me room to... I can still do a, uh, some leads of... You know, without, oh, because if I use the lighter strings and I do a slide, I'll get I'll get a lot of rattle on the frets if it's too th the th the gauge is too thin and too flat on the thing. So that's basically it for that for the stringing, and I use it tune it to an open chord E. I've tuned it to other other chords. Um, but found I, when I want to just get around, I can't transpose. I'm not quick enough in my mind to transpose for different tunings for the scales. You know, so, and that's in A. So, and then this. That's B. 
So, um, and when you play, don't go in the middle of the fret. Where you, in between, on the when you because when you play, you don't put your finger on the fret uh, on the fret itself, but you have to fret it with the slide on the fret, right there on the. So that takes some getting used to. You have to, so you can stay in tune. That's one of the first things I learned, you know. You know, that. And then, then of course, I wanted to develop it so because Elmore would play it. You put that little thing in there. So, and the other thing is, I used to use a pick, but that gave me too many harmonics. And so, what I do. It, it, when I learn, learn to just use my fingers, and that means you can you get a nice clean note there, without otherwise. If I try to do it with a pick, I get all the other strings, or I could try, try to cut it with the ball of my hand. See, but with with just using the fingers, I can you can cut the different strings. You don't unwanted strings. Same thing. Just the thumb cuts the the G sharp, the third string, and that cuts the the first. So and so on. I think I'm. This is really just for the, <laughs> the guitarists out there. So. And the same. same here. Just why I just want that that note to ring. So I have to cut all three of those with that. So it's a lot of this is this is actually where the action's going on, right? See, and I'm cutting that unwanted B. Thumb does a lot of work. And uh, P90 pickups are the best for slide, in my opinion, because you can. T I've got it way down, and. If you use a humbucker, the t chances are when you turn it down, you'll get the note, but you won't get all those little subtleties. They're, they're wired hot, so it's for picking up for, you know, you use that for heavy uh, shredding music, you know. But the, for this, you want the subtlety, you, I take it down here. And of course, it's a five way switch, that's nice. You get, a, you get the. <laughs> And on the on the P nineties, one downside is they hum. That's why they came up with the hum buckers. <laughs> to okay, and some of the treble pickups, nice. You know, you, you get almost like a trumpet Louis Armstrong thing there. Basically, it. Yeah. Where else but on <laughs> local local access cable could a slide guitar master show you some of the tricks <laughs> of the trade? We really appreciate that. Well, it's been, it's been a pleasure to talk to you today. Um, looking forward to this weekend's activities. Um, we wish you uh, safe journeys, and uh, we're going to be following your career path because we know that now that you're back on the path and enjoying it more than ever before, we're going to see a lot more of you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Jeremy. You're I welcome. appreciate your time. Yeah, it was a pleasure. Thank you. Jeremy Spencer, ladies and gentlemen.
wish I had a dollar for all the tears I cried for you. Where were you last night? You were gone the whole night long. The only way you do me, baby, is wrong, 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 all these tears, tears, tears. Why don't they let me be? Cry for me. Baby, you would cry for me.